You know the Cabal hate people stealing from them. I'm not stealing it. Just borrowing it. Long term. Sure. Whatever you want to call it. Let's just get the part we need and get out of here before they stamp us out for good. There we go. Let's see how you space rhinos deal with this. Well, now that you've had your fun, can we get out of here? It wasn't for fun, GG7. I needed that module. Can't be a blade dancer without the blade, can I? Whatever happened to a trusty old tracer? I still have my tracer, but why use something clumsy and random like a tracer when you can have something more... elegant and civilized, like a light blade? I suppose it is more elegant. And shiny. <laughs> shiny it is. And it'll melt your face off. Right. Don't touch the shiny. Alright, it's time to get back to business. What have we got for intel? Are we any closer to finding a way into the Emperor's base? The Cabal are consistent, if anything. Triple layer encryption, but, as usual, getting past their protocols is the easy part. And the hard part? Living to tell the tale. Wait, there. It looks like there's another satellite base on Nessus. Nessus? What are the Cabal doing on Nessus? I have no idea. Everything in the file has been redacted or outright deleted. Whatever it is, they don't want anyone knowing about it. Whatever we need to do, finding the Emperor's base and confining Rays is all that matters. You haven't said his name in a long time. Why now? I've been having visions, flashbacks, a Red Planet Corps, my father's killer, and something else. Something else? Something big. A source of pure evil that- The future. You're seeing the future. Malcolm said this would happen. He warned that you should never follow visions of the future. Rays is gonna pay for killing my father, no matter the cost. That's exactly what he wants, you know that. Good. No, good would be you defeating him and still being alive. Going in there in anger and not focus will absolutely get you killed. Rays is a void walker, trained by Tolan himself in the dark arts. Well, I was trained in the light by my father, and I'm all that's left, so it has to be me. Just promise me you'll keep doing the training modules. Fine. But for now, it looks like we need to find out why the Cabal are on Nessus. Do you think anyone in the city may have any intel? There's always the bazaar. All walks of life go in and out of there. Surely someone's heard something. For the right price, anyway. Don't worry, I'll keep my light blade handy. I've got a bad feeling about this. Lord Rays? My master. Have you been practicing as we discussed? Practice? Master, I... How do you expect to compete if you do not practice? The dance moves you asked me to perform. They are too difficult. Excuses! Look, it's not that hard! <laughs> oh, never mind. Perhaps one day you'll learn more than just swinging around a glowy blade. Useless. What news do you have for me otherwise? The Cabal forces on Earth are nearing completion. All natural resources will be depleted within a month. Good. And what of our progress on Nessus? Once we have Earth's resources, we will use the Vex network to transmat them on board the Leviathan. However, our agents have had difficulty taking control of the network. It has been... problematic. The Vex are... quite difficult. I don't need excuses, only results. But... wait... that's not it. 
is it? There's something else. I can sense it. The girl! Her connection to the light strengthens by the day. If she were to... <clears throat> Enough! That girl is a child. Nothing more. For goodness sake, she can't even dance. My master, she is aware of our presence on Nessus. What? She is currently en route and intends on finding out our purpose here. To manipulate the Vex network. Hmm. This could be used to our advantage. After all, it is you she is after. What is thy bidding, my master? Lead the girl directly to you, and end her. Complete your training and take your place by my side. I will do... whatever you ask, my master. Anything to rid my conscience of that infernal child. Good. <laughs> Good, my apprentice. Now go. When the time is right, take her to the planet's core and destroy her. Then proceed on supplying the Leviathan with the resources. Soon this entire system will be a memory. And one more thing, Lord Rays. Yes, Master? If you fail me, it will be for the last time.
Picking up anything, GG7? I keep getting pings about some watermelon exo. Watermelon what? Apparently, this exo knows a little bit about everything, but getting him to talk is the hard part. Well, I've got a light blade that says otherwise. Word on the street is, he'll do anything for a few extra watermelon shaders. Don't we still have a few from our last trip through Eververse headquarters? Blast it, Eververse! But yeah, I still have a few. How are we gonna find him? Oh, he's not hard to find. He has his own shop just over there. Let's go see what the Exo has to say. Yes, yes. Come one, come all. I have the information you need. You there. You look like you have a question. He noticed us. Let's go talk to him. Hello there, friend. I actually do have a question. I heard you might have the answer. Yes, yes, I have many answers. But hey, hey, what's that? Is that a ghost? How much? I want a shiny ghost. Ahem. The shiny ghost isn't for sale. Sorry, friend. My companion here, GG7, isn't for sale. But I think we might be able to help each other out. My name's Jade, and I was wondering what you know about the Cabal on Nessus. Whoa, hold on there. You aren't one of those agents, are you? You wouldn't be trying to trick me or anything, right? No, no, friend. We're no agents. We just want to know why the Cabal are on Nessus. We're thinking if we find that out, we might find the guy we're looking for. Ooh, a scavenger hunt. Who might the lucky guy be? Goes by the name Ray's. Mean anything to you? Oh, no, no, no. I know that name. I also know not to cross certain people. Haha, <laughs> you two must have a death wish. I'm afraid I can't help you. What if I had some, uh, watermelon shaders straight out of Eververse HQ? What? How did you? Where? They don't make those anymore. How do you have so many? Gimme! Tell you what, fella. If you've got some good intel about the Cabal on Nessus and any info leading to Rays, they're all yours. No questions asked. It'll be like we were never here. What? But, er, uh, hmm. Okay, it's not every day someone brings me my shaders. Okay, listen, apparently the Cabal, who are mercenaries hired by the Emperor himself, mind you, are working with Imperial agents over on Nessus to try and take over the Vex network. Raze is running the show, so he'll undoubtedly be there somewhere. Why on earth would Raze want control over the Vex network? Rays does nothing his master does not command. This is Tolan's big plot. I believe they intend to use all the resources the Cabal are stealing from Earth to power some kind of super weapon? Rays needs the Vex network to transmit those resources. That's why they're on Nessus. What do you think the Emperor will do with such a weapon? If Toland is building a weapon, it's not to help anyone. That monster? Well look, we should get going if we're gonna catch them. Whoa, you're not leaving with those shaders, right? They're all yours. Listen, I want you to get out of the system for a while in case we can't stop Tolan and Rays. Can you operate a shop somewhere else? I can always try a neighboring system. I sure hope you succeed, though. These Earthlings are very resourceful. Please come back. And with more shaders, perhaps? I'll keep you in mind. Thanks for your business. Thanks, Jade. And your little light, too. Don't call me that. Let's head to Nessus and see if we can stop Rays from getting into the Vex network. Right. Setting course for the Centaur Nessus. This should be a piece of cake. Jade, I'm picking up a distress beacon in Sector 7. Looks like two Imperial agents are in over their heads dealing with a very large Vex anomaly. Why should we care about some filthy agents? If they're trying to access the Vex network, taking down that anomaly would surely give them access. Maybe this is how we can get to Rays. So, help out these two numbskulls and bag rays in the process? Hmm. It's worth a try, I suppose. Guess we're headed to Sector 7. What of the girl? Has she arrived yet? She will be on planet shortly, but there has been a new development in Sector 7. 
What of it? Two agents are attempting to dispatch the Vex anomaly that controls the dig site. Fools! When did Captain Plasma sign off on such an order? Plasma doesn't know about it. They are going in on their own. However, the girl is en route to Sector 7. I believe she intends on assisting the agents. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is perfect. The girl will help us get access to the network, and when it's active, we will be able to transport our resources. Soon, my ultimate weapon will be operational, and we can wipe this entire system. Once the network is active, I will lure the girl to the cavern. She will die once and for all. You'd better hope so. I don't need any more Blade Dancer filth in my way. Converting one of you is taxing enough. Now go! Yes, my master. Man, you'd think the Cabal wouldn't mind us helping out down here, sheesh. It's not just the Cabal. The Vex know we're here. They will protect that anomaly at all costs. That big ugly's gonna go down one way or the other. Did you find a recruit to help us? As a matter of fact, I did. There's a ship coming right now. They should be showing up any minute. Ship? What kind of ship? Uh, let me see. It looks like a scavenger class ship. What? A scavenger? How's a blasted scavenger gonna help us through this mess? Hey now, I put the distress call out to anyone. You better be glad someone shows up. Maybe they got some cool illegal space weapons or something. Scavengers usually have all kinds of cool stuff. Scavengers? Space weapons? You're an idiot, and we're gonna die. Someone call for assistance? Space weapons! Yeah, we did. I'm MC-117 and this is T1-T0. But wait, that's one of those light blade thingies, right? The name is Jade. Jade Zakara. Nice to meet you, 117, and Tito? I'll just call you Tito. And yes, this thingy is a light blade. This is my ghost, GG7. He picked up your distress beacon. Never thought we'd be helping a couple of Imperial agents. Whoa, a real ghost and a shiny blue light blade. Say, are you one of those legendary blade dancers? This scavenger, a blade dancer, they're all extinct, you moron. Actually, they're not extinct. Jade is the last blade dancer. As in, there ain't no more of you? Well, what happened? Well, Tito, that's a long story. Short version, Toland. The Emperor? Yeah. Him and his apprentice race single-handedly wiped out my people years ago. I'm all that's left. <laughs> Serves you right, blade dancer scum. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Okay, okay. Sorry. Look, we gotta kill this Vex anomaly so Lord Rays can have access to the Vex network. If we don't pull this off, he is gonna kill us. And melt our faces off with his light blade thingy. Look, nobody's getting their face melted off except Rays. We need to get access to the Vex network as well. It's our ticket to getting Rays. So we're gonna help you two bucket heads out. In exchange, you'll make sure we get Rays. As long as you don't melt our faces off, I really don't care. Let's just kill this Vex and be done with it. I'm in. Deal. This is it. This is where we find our Vex Anomaly. We just have to jump. All the way down there. Heh. <laughs> Piece of cake. Oh, we'll be fine, GG7. You two bucketheads got those Imperial Tracers locked and loaded? Uh, yeah. yeah. Let's go squish a Vex, y'all. Yee yee. Whoa, whoa, wait! I'll say. No, 
No, no, no. <laughs> really? What kind of agents are you guys? Sorry, I've never fought something like this before. <laughs> Woo wee, boys. Smells like the commander over here done build up his britches. Can it, T1? Or I'll add some ventilation to that helmet of yours. Guys, stay on target. We've almost got him. It's cycling weapons. Health at 19%. We can do this. Man, I've got this. Let's go, you big ugly. You're in my house now, boy. Yee yee. Down it goes. Yes, we did it! Yeah, take that, you big tin can! Woo! I think I'm gonna be sick. What's happening, DG7? Seismic disruption. Killing that Vex set off a chain reaction. The Vex network is opening up. You two, this place is coming down. My ghost will transmat you out. Thanks for keeping us alive! Will we ever see you again, Miss Jade? I don't know, but I sure hope so. Take care of yourselves. Now go! GG7, where are we? I'm not sure, except that we're still on Nessus, but the Vex network spans infinite lines of time and space. I think this is the place in my vision. We're so close. Raze, show yourself. Wait, I'm picking something up. Another ghost signature. Another ghost? Only Blade Dancers have ghosts. Jade. It's not just any ghost. It's... Malcolm's. Father? That can't be. It can't. Could the network simulate his light? No. The Vex cannot simulate light. It's genuine. And it's almost here. Stand by. <laughs> Greetings, child. Raze. Jade, are you saying that's supposed to be Raze? Yes, that's him, filthy void walker scum. That isn't Raze. That's Malcolm. What? That's impossible. <laughs> now you see the truth. N no. You are Raze. You killed my father. I killed what your father used to be. Emperor Tolan showed me how weak and pathetic I was. How weak you all were. I had intended on killing you, but you got away before I could. The Emperor was displeased. How? How could you? A simple answer. Power. Power? The Void Walkers and the Blade Dancers have been at odds long before our time here. We are nothing more than familiars, puppets, playing a game at power between light and dark. You see, your feeble light comes from the Traveler. We were led to believe that the light was a path to righteousness. The light will defeat you, Malcolm. Tall words from a little light, but know this. The Voidwalkers draw their power from a being just as ancient as the Traveler itself. There's nothing older than the Traveler. It's the source of all power. You are partially correct. There is no power older than the Traveler. But where you're mistaken is just there. The Oversoul. The Over what? The Oversoul. It is as old as the Traveler, and it serves as our connection to the Void. How could such power exist? There is no light without darkness, my child. Soon you will come to know the darkness as I have. Soon you will abandon your feeble light and join us. I'll never join you! Jade, I'm picking up something strange in his ghost data files. What? Why does that even matter right now? Why don't you ask him about his dance lessons with the Emperor? What? Dance lessons? Uh, hey, what are you doing, you little tin can? Take a look at this. This... this is what you call enlightenment? 
You mean to tell me you betrayed your family, tried to kill your daughter, and destroyed an entire race of people so you could join the Empire to become a backup dancer? Enough! I will not be mocked by some ignorant child. I believe your time has run out. I guess my father really is dead. I refuse to believe that any ounce of him could be left in you. So be it, I will finish this once and for all. Admit it, you're too weak to beat me. Never. You will never win. I won't let you take any more from me. <laughs> impressive. Most impressive. Now, why don't you show yourself so we can finish this? Uh, no, seriously. Where did you go? We have to finish this. It kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? What the darkness is going on? Oh, this is gonna be good. Shh! Why isn't the girl dead yet? Really? Master? She just vanished, like a freaking ninja or something. How can I kill her if she's gone? Well, maybe if you had better dance moves, you could have distracted her longer. What's with the dancing? Seriously, sir, I don't get it. You... So, you don't like my dancing, do you? <coughs> Master, I... If you won't dance and you can't kill the girl, then I have no further use for you. He's gonna kill him. Blade dancer scum. Ah! No! <laughs> there she is. The last blade dancer. Well, now I suppose you truly are the last. Your pathetic father couldn't let go of his weakness. He couldn't even dance. You are pure evil. Why, thank you. Why? Why take one of us as an apprentice? Why not some other Voidwalker fanatic? A good question, my dear, and a simple one to answer. Rather than wipe you all out, I found controlling his mind to be a fate worse than death. But why all the dancing? It doesn't make any sense. Fool! Of course you light bearers wouldn't understand. Your precious traveler's light provides a measurable power without affecting the body. What does that mean? It means you filthy blade dancers always had the ability to dance to your heart's content. Meanwhile, us void walkers draw our power from the oversoul. That in and of itself bears the greatest of consequences. The dark energy is volatile to the physical body. We experience joint pain and severe arthritis. Do you know how difficult it is to bust a move in that kind of pain? It takes years of practice and meditation. I mean, not just any Voidwalker can do this. I am not seeing this right now. Ungrateful fool. The power to dance endlessly and you throw it away. No matter. Soon I will have your planet's primary resources, and with them, we'll be able to power my super weapon on my huge leviathan ship and wipe out your entire system. That's it. No more games, no more dancing, and no more stealing from Earth to make weapons. You're finished. Oh no, my dear. I'm just getting started. You're weak, just like your father. I am not my father. I can dance way better than you two. Ah! Holy Nova, that was close. Nice trick, but you're gonna have to do better than that, old man. <laughs> you weak, pathetic fool. You haven't begun to understand the power of the Void. Let me enlighten you. <laughs> yes. Soon you will join me and become one with the Void. Oh, never join you! Jade, you're absorbing his arc energy. Use it against him. 
Had enough yet? Are you finally ready to join me? My name is Jade Zakara. I am the last blade dancer, and I'm a better dancer than you! No. No! Wow, you just obliterated him. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Wow, didn't know I had that in me. And we're back on Earth now. Hey, hey, Miss Jane, is that you? Tito? Hey, Tito! It really is you, and your little light, too. Stop calling me that. Tito, what are you doing here on Earth? Where's your Commander 117? I decided to leave the Empire, especially since you took out Rays and the Emperor. Looks like Captain Plasma's running the show now. 117 stayed back on Nessus. Plasma gave him one of those big old promotions. He told her that he killed that big old Vex all by himself. <laughs> Figures. Ha! <laughs> well, look at him go, huh? It's good to see you, Tito. What are you gonna do now, though? Oh man, me? Well, I'm just gonna dedicate my time to helping people out. I spend so much time helping the Empire steal from Earth. Thought it only right to give back. Have we domesticated an agent? I guess so, little buddy. Well, our work is far from over. Looks like now we have to deal with this Captain Plasma lady. Well, shoot. Y'all ever need any help? I know everything there is to know about the Empire. I'm sure we'll take you up on that. But, um, in the meantime, how are your dancing skills? Oh, please no. <laughs> My dancing skills? Well, I'm the best there ever was. You think you can take me in a dance-off? I thought you'd never ask. So this is what my life has boiled down to. Being a DJ. Great. DJ7, drop the beat!